Hello and welcome to another episode of Wednesdays with WB. This is episode number 58 and the guest on this episode is one who created waves by getting a hundred at Durban on his debut in 92-93. And there are a lot of expectations from that young man, but unfortunately fate had a different script for him. He ended up only with 11 test appearances and by the time he finished playing, everybody was uh, left with only one thing to ponder about. Why did he not play more rather than why did he play? It was unfortunate, but uh, after retiring for, from cricket, he took up coaching and he's been involved with a lot of IPL teams and also coached uh, different states apart from guiding uh, India under-19 and the India A sides in the past. He was an absolute team man during his playing days and that's exactly what he's trying to do, being selfish and giving whatever that is he can give to people who will benefit from his guidance. It's Praveen Amre, and it's my pleasure to present to you Praveen Amre, the former batter from uh, Mumbai, Central Zone and Railways. It's my pleasure to present to you Praveen Amre. Praveen, it's been a long time since I caught up with you. How are you? All well? Thanks. Thanks, uh, WV. It's always a pleasure to see you and talk to you. Yes, let's start with the recent happenings in your life. You released an autobiography of yours. Obviously, it would have been received well. Yeah. Yeah, miss, that was the thing. Like, you know, WB, you know, like we, we played the era of 92, right? That's the era. I think I feel like there are a lot of people meet me that they remember whatever the innings. Even they remember you are 100 in South Africa one day. So people always remember that. And I was I was just wanted to be honest to myself. Like I just uh, my, my book title is zero for five. You know, as a as a player, you know, like one year is so crucial or one inning is crucial. I I when look back, like right now, I'm maybe more than eighteen years in a coaching career, but I feel like that zero for five. I think that was the defining because when you are a coach of like you know Mumbai, Delhi, or Tamil Nadu, where the big association, where you know the win is important, and especially I came from the means Mumbai, and my first three games we were zero point, and then we managed to win all outright matches and then we came to semi-finals and fine day we are zero for five so you know and the players were like wb you know that was wasim jafar amul muzumdar and rohit sharma so it was it was like to me i look like look back and i think that was a more important uh, match for me as a coach because you know if i would have been lost that game my coaching career would have been over so i i look back and I think like that's the match. And I think it's people tend to forget actually. Then I think this is, this is what people should remember like zero for five and then you can win the game. <laughs> yeah, you had a great journey. Your journey has been eventful. Starting off with the fact that um, you were born and brought up in Mumbai. You would have wanted to play for Bombay, but you ended up playing elsewhere. So that way there's a lot of stories to tell. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was 18 when I played for a Bombay. And mind you, I'm saying Bombay, not Mumbai. Because that was, a, I got a cap, not an MCA. It was really privileged and it was my dream to play for a Bombay. And luckily, as uh, my guru, Achekar sir, told me, like, you know what, you are getting a good job from railways. You are, because I come from the humble background. So he knows like, how important the job will be for me. And he said, there is no guarantee like you will play for uh, next year from uh, Bombay. So it's better you go to the railways. First, the priority is your family. You will take care of family. And then you will get a chance because you know, w, that year it was like it was good that the mother of Sindhya was the railway minister and he offered a job for a you know good cricketer. So I was 18. I was played for Bombay. So I directly I got officer's job and Ashrika sir was confident. Like he said, the railway job will give you stability to your family. And I think that was my priority. And that was the reason to leave Bombay, to be honest, basically. I'll come to Mr. Archraker a bit later. But yeah. it must have been a very difficult choice, wasn't it? Yes, on the one hand, financial security or the job security. On the other hand, not being able to play for a side like Bombay must have been a real tough choice to make. And also, like, uh, yeah, Miss, you know, I played for under 15, under 19, uh, university for Bombay. And then, like, uh, people were like, not many cricketers make out, make in a, by 18 years, making in a Bombay Ranji team. So, you know, the people were talking about he got a good career and all, he can't play for a country. But the moment, sir, told, I think that was all cricket pundits said, now your career is over because you are leaving Bombay. 
and you're going to railways <laughs> nobody is going to notice your performance and yeah miss that was a thing like more than like i i was like that i my that dream for playing for country i think it's gone or what that moment some but when my sir told me to go i i think i i i have no other option and i i respected that decision also but we know a lot of people could easily say your career is over those days yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway let's go back to your uh, coach mr hmm. archrekar from his stable came you tendulkar kambli and then mujumda to name a few and uh, wh- hmm. what kind of a coach was he just for my curiosity you know yeah for me achika sir to describe one thing like he was not a just he was a guru to be honest and he was like a institute it's not like one i, I used just name sachin we know you know amol me but before that also balvinder sandhu chandrakan pandit lalchand rashput so he got many and you just more than 15 ranjit of people but i think i think now i came to the coaching i 15 years in the coaching i can describe you only thing i cannot be even a 10% what he has done to the cricket because that dedication that passion and that selflessly the way he he coached to the each and every one i think the best part like he he treated everyone equal it never happened like because you are a sachin tendulkar he, we were having a different treatment it wasn't and maybe that is the reason if you say like anybody is a sir student he will he will have same respect to, uh, with like what we have as a test player but even the player who played for just the club cricket but he had a time for everyone yeah one of the things that is noticeable about the wards of uh, mr archrekar is that batsman especially you just charge down against the spinners you don't stay at the <laughs> crease at all <laughs> yeah the secret wb you know like archrekar says we get we practice and the famous story you know like he used to keep that 1 rupee coin on the stumps if you play 15 mm-hmm. minutes on those wicket you will get but you know the wickets were actually the outfield and if to survive me to like to play that i know like i have to kill that spinner's ball i so i think that was my my thing like why my footwork was good because i think it was those wicket we practice where we we wanted to find the way to survive find the way to dominate the spinners and i think that's what happened there like our footwork was so good and the spinners anybody a ball goes above eye level we we make sure like we are not in the crease i've seen more of you three uh, like uh, you sachin vinod and uh, among the three of you of course sachin's technique was supreme and you would uh, prefer to play along the ground would you agree that vinod was the best in terms of hitting big against the spinners well i think that again there is a story for him because when ashikas sir spotted him you know he used to play in a, in a tennis ball cricket in a you know his buildings and that area where he was there was a runs like if you hit to the fourth floor you will get a boundary so he had that habit of and his that was his tremendous like his first class first shot is a six so i think that mindset was there i think for them whereas we came on a big ground where we know like inning building is important but vinod came out with that like hitting is a attack is a defense basically that way he came and yes he was also successful wv remember like he was the guy for me i remember the guy who got a two back to back test 100 and i was both the time i was a non striker so i think that was a great achievement two back to back test matches getting double 100 in a test going back to your career is over advice senior level also you got a lot of runs but uh, you had to wait for a while to get the india cap wasn't it yeah absolutely I means uh, uh four to five years i was consistently scoring runs in a you know center zone that was so dulip trophy iran trophy so whatever the match that those days there was no india a matches so you know and i was you know like the blue us south was always strong west was strong but i came from the central so to me that was only one game and that was important if you lose those days it was a knockout so next year we have to wait so i have to make it count like even that i know i was playing for a weak side so the whole I, and i was leading so it was more responsibility and make sure like i perform for m- myself and for the team to go to the next round basically to get that one more, more match more to me to play in a, and it apparently happened like a dulip trophy i got three back to back 100 also but that pressure was there to perform because i know there was a no no next year because ranji trophy we never qualified so i know that if i can get a notice by the selector it will be only basically the performing in dulip trophy 
Uh, you haven't done badly in that phase. I remember 1990-91 season. Dulip, uh, trophy three games and Irani, you got something like 800 or 1000. What was it? Yeah, was when I came, I came to the Indian team, I came with 86 of first class average. So, I think that's not a bad average. <laughs> You got your break during the Australia tour. You didn't make it to the tour of England and then you went to Australia. But that was not much of a tour, was it? Not many opportunities for you on that tour. I think that coming to the Indian side was an achievement. I see like when I look back, there was a, you know, Krishnamachar, Ishikan, Kapil Dev, Veng Sarkar, Sachin, Manjrekar. So coming in the team, I felt like, a, you know, like something achievement, like coming in a 16. I was a, I know I won't get up opportunity but it's a lot of learning for me and more important like i think more than that like i seen like a brilliant like a such in first year watching him getting that 100 at the perth sydney ravi scoring double 100 against shay and won so i think that's a good cricket i learned from that particular year like man thing but I also i got experience of playing world cup in australia so i think that was the thing yes i know like it was tough yeah and, and as you know like i have to wait it for more than 12 test matches i was a 12th man and when i got an opportunity to play in a durban I, i'm sure you will come to that match <laughs> yeah i was coming to that you, you <laughs> preempted so let's go to a different time zone different continent durban yeah. 38 for four and then a debutant <laughs> walks out who at that time was not thought to be good against fast bowling now it's over to you. You tell me what happened there. <laughs> First of all, like, to be honest, like, as you said, like, people was questioning about, like, even though I got 86 first class average, uh, well, it was supposed to be that time highest, like, after that, uh, Vinod got 88 and he came in the team. And the third one is Sachin. So, you know, my Acharika sirs, I just wanted to point out how our Acharika sirs student was so consistent when we came to get that test cap. We were averages was more than 80 in the first class. But yeah, coming to that, like people were always thought about like, okay, maybe that's the reason like I was too good for spinners. Maybe that was the reason like my most of the runs on an Indian wicket was the spinner used to bowl and I used to get more runs. But that was a thought that people thought like, and maybe W, you know, never know that they wanted to test me. And that's why they choose the double value. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for to me, I think WB, I think that was the important day for me because, you know, getting test match, you yourself got it. I think there is a, there is more emotional, you can't express the, in your, you know, in the words, what you feel that getting the test cap i think that was to me was very very important and i i was really feel like a fortunate the way my journey was i just said it was so tough to come in the squad of and then i came and i that was the day i got opportunity and w like nowadays everybody got a data right everybody got on google they can search we were the first team to go to the south africa we were not aware of not a single data was there. We were not aware of the what type of wickets will be there. Only thing what happened, like we played a practice match. We know the where the ball was flying. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so that was a challenging, I think, more important. Like that was, I think, I feel like more my, it more than a technique. And I think it was my, my mindset and maybe the willpower to survive on that. I just swear 38 for four. And I was the last recognized batsman. And I think this was, I felt like, I never thought like I will score 100, but I thought like as a batsman, I will sort of bail out my, my team from that position. And I think I, I, I can't get my 100. I think the support of, you know, Kiran Morey, because he got that 50 and we got 100 run partnership for seven in, in South Africa. I think that was remarkable because Kiran also played brilliantly because yes, I got 100, but to complete my 100, and his support was there at the non-striker. Yeah, your determination and Kiran's guts was something to watch. And you followed up that 100 by also carving out a win in the final ODI. Yeah. That was something uh, that you would remember yeah. with a lot of uh, fondness. Yeah, definitely. For first, as you said, that last game, but the first game, WB got 100 at Joburg. I remember that Pretoria, basically, yes. And I think that was a brilliant 100 any Indian got. And, and, and maybe the W, I think that was only two win we got, actually. Uh, you, yeah. That first and the last one, basically. But yes, uh, yeah, as I said, like the journey was tough. Like I was actually dropped from the third game when the uh, I was dropped at the Durban game, to be honest, when I got 100, but I never played a Durban uh, one-day match. So it was so, so tough for me to 
think like okay i'm not a part of the team and even on that day which seventh one day i was not supposed to play ravi got a uh, bad stomach on a match day and i got an opportunity and it happened to be like the man of the match i got which the only man of the match got i got in a one day it was happened in a south africa's last one day yes again they we were a thing 60 for four but again we got a again one wicket keeper came vijay yadav and we got a partnership and we won the game yes so that's a great feeling you know like you go there and even uh, yeah. but i think that was a inning i will say like durban as you said it was a determination playing 6 hours to get that 100 whereas this one day cricket i think that's a mindset and i think i thought like i belong to you know both version t20 wasn't there but you get a more satisfaction in a both version you can contribute in a team's victory you did well you played a terrific yeah. knock in a test match you won a one day then we come to india home series against england the different strokes for different people principal kicked in again you are under pressure against england to perform wasn't it <clears throat> yeah absolutely i remember like there was sword on my thing for playing in the 11 people started talking like uh, we lost the series in south africa and last match we didn't score anybody scored and i think people are talking dropping pravin amre that time and i think that was was a more challenging again yeah means uh, again like england was you, you know that 92 side was such a good side england came basically you just name it gatting he you know all of them atherton that was a strong team actually they came here to play and i know like i got limited uh, opportunity but yes first game we played at uh, i think i think chennai i got 79 then we won that the second test match at calcutta and then we came to the mumbai i, I personally feel it's a more satisfaction i think i will have of um, to me of that third test match at mumbai simply because it was a vankade my, my parents was there to watch my guru was there to watch and i think when we went there and we know already got double hundred sachin got 80 odd and when i went there with the time came for a declaration and i remember i got a 55 balls 50 in test match and i remember tufnel was bowling six fielders at the boundary and still i managed to got boundaries so i think that feel more satisfaction to show that it was an 100 but the showing a dressing room and my parents and my guru that bat of scoring 50 in 55 ball in test i think that that's why i think i remember that can be the one of the my my good day in a in a test cricket yeah talking of england uh, hmm. the india was england series is about to get underway what do you think is likely to happen in that series i think that was 12 years back i think they are the one only beat us in in india but yeah i mean they come with the more uh, where more homework they make sure like their england lines comes here they get used to of our wickets so players are aware of that what is the turn and bounce which is nightmare we saw like that 3-0 we 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 won basically there was many batsmen could not play kumle and raju and chohan but i think the, that that will this year also jaddu akshar who knows kuldeep it will be a very 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 not easy to them to pick but yeah because see now that the those days are changed now because most of the england's also player coming and playing ipl so that does help them like playing the condition and all but yes again a white ball and a red ball there is a lot of difference but again like the way we are playing i think we got a more chance to make sure like we we won one more series again on england here do you think we'll uh... we will get to see baseball being employed in india <laughs> <laughs> but that's what england is isn't it they will they will try to what they work for them to be honest they will not bother and and i think like attack will be defense for play our, our thing but yes i personally feel uh, it's not only the baseball will happen i think the temperament and again like you said that like, you know the technique will also matter to play on our wicket especially the spinners you took to coaching once you stopped playing it's been a smooth career more or less but uh, are you still awaiting the the big job to land up at your door sometime well i think we never know i think we we work like the coaching i think i personally feel like it like it never planned it came to me in my career as accident i never planned i never thought like a, you know w be like i have that temperament of coaching because coaching is a lot of different <laughs> temperament but yes that coaching player 12 3 years or maybe the 6 year for mumbai ranji team it taught me 
to like what are the qualities are important for a coaching and doing more than 18 years coaching in a first class and i think 12 years in ipl it definitely you, you learn by that experience and i always thank to the even the coaches like uh, ricky was there to us to guide us when we come to the ipl so there are many good coaches was there whom with i worked and i learned from them but yeah miss i am not uh, thinking too much wb i know like the i am wise enough now it age 55 whatever work you do do it with the passionate <laughs> don't worry about where you will go i think whatever you do give your best and who you people will recognize you or not i think the end of the day i am enjoying my coaching because that's what matters to me you know like people like ajinkara ne or shayas ayer like people knows like when they needed a support i was the one and i think that's gave me the lot of you know like uh, i will say happiness because something sometime that uh, recognition or money is not important i think it's important like somebody is recognizing this not more than many people but some are the whom they knows like when they needed help maybe like wb you know like when i was playing that i thought like people would have been i never got that help i'm not saying like support of something that but that moral support like yes i am behind you this is the phase you can thing but that is what i think exactly whatever happened to me i make sure like who are the players are got that talent i make sure i try to give them that moral support it doesn't matter like i am backing them but i know like sometime that one moral support can help there that one game and that sometime that one match matters tell us a little bit more about uh, what it is like to work with ricky ponting not only was he a great cricketer but he's also a fantastic uh, tactician isn't he Yes, yes. So, so to me, I think Ricky Ponting was to me like I was working with his uh, Delhi Capitals for five years, and I watched him so closely. His transformation from the player, the way he played, was so ruthless. But the, when he became a coach, he was actually the you know the players' coach basically. He was there to care for each and every player. He was there to fight with the management also. And I think that's what learning you know like when you are a coach, there are so many different responsibility cup comes to you, and and the passionate and also the knowledge of the game you know i sit next to him most of the time so he he just predict like it can happen like this in in five overs so i think that's the knowledge of the game i will say like he knows that players and he 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 comes with his own homework properly because ipl is a such a challenging tournament he had that experience of being a coach and winning in a mumbai indians so he know how it feels to live the ipl cup but uh, his commitment to the team it's so so but that's what i said i learned so many things from him when i was working with him like how to man management how to give him importance to each and every player how to handle the stars because that's what happen in the ipl and how to give even importance who are not going to play a single game you played the under 19 level for india currently the world cup is happening are you trying to follow the current crop of talent i think that's a part of my job like you know like a, i was more work as a talent hunt so there was so many players we we bought it from the under 19 world cup like shreyas ayer prithvi rishabh pant they came in our delhi setup right from the under 19 they never played t20 game but what we saw them playing for uh, india under 19 i think that really felt like these guys are have the material and if you think that like, oh, both all those three players was retained by the franchise so it gives that like their capacity of you know playing at this level also so yes means uh, we are always excited with the new crop of the guys like who are coming but more than wb like we look like a who are going to be the match winner it's not like a one game winner but who got that temperament you know ultimately there is a difference between ipl and under 19 you know it's a, it's a the uh, ipl is all about men's world basically and there are couple of guys are ready to compete with the men's world we are looking for that type of boys who can compete in the men's world do you think the under 19 cricketers have more opportunities to make the transition <clears throat> to senior level now you think is easier these days well absolutely i think the the way i think bcci is also having a more program for junior cricket and i think that's good for them like uh, the more early we identified the talent it's good for them also and for a franchise also it is helpful like you you well you go with them for a long time because you just uh, see the rishabh pant and all they are all played more than 5 to 6 years for our team so i think that continuity and that confidence come with the you know both of them got a confidence they feel comfortable to go with that one one under the one umbrella for players also it's also good like going to back with and also like 
once i personally feel like under 19 to go with a good coaching staff because it's not coming and just 19 playing for ipl is a, uh, should be their goal their goal should be also like going and playing for a country <laughs> going back to your career you have an uh, a decent average of 42 and a half runs in test cricket but you made <laughs> only 11 appearances uh, does it hurt you now thinking back it could have been a lot more number of matches <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I obviously felt like once you get a hundred in a your debut test and also in a tough, I personally feel like I should have been scored twenty hundred. I am not thinking about matches, but that's I think um, I I I've thought like, and maybe that is the reason when I coach, I feel like my students should go uh, score twenty hundred minimum because I think that gives them more. complete player because when you score 20 international 100 you have to play all the countries you have to play on a different different challenges and to cope with that yeah means my, my career was not uh, i will say that uh, number wise but i think as a experience wise i had learned a lot like playing at the home also playing at the diff, uh, australian condition playing in a, a new zealand condition so i think that really helped when i come to the coaching whatever that small experience also but because ultimately i i know how how much efforts has to get the get, go and get that 100 in a test cricket i think in a way you have to be blamed i said 42 is a decent average but you had 86 average in first class cricket you only managed half of that in test cricket i think that's why you didn't play much <laughs> Yeah, I think make, I will make sure my student will have seventy plus. <laughs> so I think that that's a problem from your end. So anyway, yeah, um, yeah. Of course, there's no doubt at all that everybody feels that uh, it could have been a case of you playing a lot more than you did. Uh, but on the other hand, do you think if you were to be a little bit selfish, it could have benefited you, prolonged your career? Yeah, WWE. I think yeah, with the experience, I think I learned that, and I make sure my student also. I say like, yes, play for. Or the team is important, but playing for yourself is also important because ultimately nobody knows after that. You know, like that is what I personally felt. I always believed to that team was the first, and then my, myself. But uh, uh, in a way, sometimes situations come, then then the team whether sometimes they don't think about that way. But is always I make sure like my players will have a good average. and good strike rate to go there and then their their place will be there for the forever because that's where also important because as as i said like i personally feel is not the numbers but it's all about getting those 20 100 international 100 is so important and that's what i learned like sachin is getting 100 international 100 so much of you know like that depth in his is his art of batting i will say so that's what i feel like i, I don't think about numbers but like getting the hundreds for the team is more important now as a coach and as a trainee of uh, mr archreker how much of his methods do you incorporate as a coach i think whatever i am today to be honest i i, I try to pass on what i learned from archreker sir because it really worked for me and i have that confidence and that faith like this technique or this is the thing will work because myself had that i'm gone through that grind i gone through for that experience like how that will happen to me and even a batting technique wise also i whenever i see i you will more see like whatever the archaker sir has taught us i try to go do that but also it helped me to like doing the level 2 and level 3 in nca because it's also like that communication is also important with the players so that is also important but yes the basic is what i learned from archaker sir i try to spread that No, it's interesting. You told me that uh, Chaurakya sir also uh, coached uh, Lalu, Chandu, and all of them in that generation, and then you a lot. But what I see as an outsider is that you know he seems to have uh, caught up or kept uh, up with the evolvement of cricket, because Chandu, Lalu batted differently, you lot batted differently, so he was always kind of uh, revising and reforming his methods. Is it right? Yeah, miss. That was, I think, so Ashok Sir's beauty. He never touch anybody's natural game. They allow to grow around that natural game, and that is what I said. Like when we work, try to work. We try to identify that what is his natural game, because there are if anybody think correction has to do, we have to do. But that's what Ashok Sir is. His 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 method was simple. He used to work believe in a match temperament. That's what you know the stories of Ashok Sir making us play the more matches. One match at Chuvaju Park, one match at Azad Maidan. So he will 
travel with us and make sure like we get that experience and and i think that's what that's what i said we can't do this even this 2020 era also because those how he managed that's there to ha- handling the 10 clubs and having the 10 teams to play that matches we talk about playing friendly matches but you have to arrange that 10 teams to play those matches so he was the guy who can that time he can arrange that team which i think i i can't arrange right now so, so this is what that tough for nowadays cricket but yes the ideology is that like he always believe in the uh, national game he believes that what will work and he always believe like how you will score the runs the priority was always how you will score the runs other than what how it look like then that it's important how you score the runs yeah as a coach you need to plan and obviously the plans for the upcoming ipl season would have started so what can we expect of uh, the delhi capitals this season well i think uh, to me it's always as i said like uh, not only so uh, like ricky ponting is there but we got the help of director of asoro ganguly is also there so there are a lot of planning is there and also like we have a periodical plan camps right now how to make but is again like uh, just now we finished the mini auction the nine new players are come so we are going to work on that but it's you know the challenge is always the ranji trophies are in between so the availability of players are not there so we make sure whoever available we can have that camp and it's more communication if anybody is going to any requirement is there like you know like right now we are just giving finger cross for rishab and prithvi to get them ready for our thing because when they both are on the playing 11 our side is different last year we really missed rishab in that case and what is the update on rishab if you can provide us well i think he's he's looking more confident it's going through you know like nca is there to look after him and we are hoping like next month he can come on the ground finally a word of advice for the youngsters well i think achika and and also you should have your own dream to reach where you want to because it is not there will be many guidance will come but it's ultimately your journey and you should be ready i think that's what i think they, he made me mentally prepared to go to the railways anywhere because he showed me the dream like i can play for a country so i think if you want to play for a country there will be a grind and what i, I learn is like um, there is a 15 years of hard work to get that india cap so it's it's like you have to be ready for that 15 years as always very practical as always very honest thank you praveen very nice of you to immediately accept my invitation to appear on the show and it was great chatting to you thank you is always nice to be with you wv anytime thank you so much for having me there it was the absolute team man as always and uh, he was forthright he was pragmatic and he was also not bitter at all about uh, what uh, was not to be in his career pravin amre as always a giver and it was a pleasure chatting to him and i'm sure you would have enjoyed the conversation too and for those who have been up with us all through from the start keep uh, sending in your comments and your feedback which is very important for us and for those of you who joined us for the first time log on to the handle of sports star and catch up with all the earlier episodes where there's some lovely content for you to see and keep joining us in the future as well but before i sign off i'd like to remind you that uh, you need to try and subscribe and press the like button as well for you to get the notifications and uh, as i always say Before I catch up with you next time, be good and stay safe.